Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth before for another episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask, or I should say the second part of the finale. Uh, in the last episode we went up to the moon and we took on the Deku and Goron dungeons. Here we're going to take on the Zora dungeon. I guess uh, we're gonna have to, uh, well, let's find Georg first. That's Twin Mold, so this is Georg. Scary. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. Will you too be a mask salesman? Then I'll play with you, so give me some masks. So this one's gonna ask for three, so we're going to give up the Armani mask, the Circus Leader's mask, and the Camaro's mask. So first, the Romani's mask. We got this one for saving uh, Romani's cows and then helping Kremia with the milk run by uh, defending her from the Gorman brothers. It uh, signified us being an adult. Circus Leader's mask we got for... We got that for uh, playing for the... Uh, what's it called? For the... Yeah, so, band leader. And I uh, got that from the circus leader who was reminded of the olden days. We got it for, uh, playing for Toto, you know, when we are in Romani's bar. And the Camaro's mask we got for healing Camaro's soul. Soul of a dancer who needed all his words to be translated for us. Hide and seek, let's play. And no, you can't give up your transformational masks. If you're wondering. Okay, so this is an interesting dungeon. Uh, we're gonna need, have to be Zora for this. It's so empty. And in this, uh, there we're going to go down a pipe, and there are going to be multiple uh, water streams. So uh, you have to like you're gonna have left and right choices. So I'm going to, um, you know, obviously go to the heart first. And uh, there's a few ways you can get there, but I'm just gonna go. Uh, the, the way I'm going is right, left, left, left. You'll see what I mean. Okay, fine. One second. I could still make it. It's left. I just have to go right, left, left. <laughs> there we go. Kind of appears suddenly, doesn't it? Wait, how am I at the end already? That's weird. But if you go down here, it leads you back to the beginning. I could have sworn. Ah, whatever. Let's try that again, except this time I'll swim. <laughs> and yes, at the end of each one, there are also uh, gossip stones. Once once again, in case you you know, didn't uh, couldn't get to them. So, yeah, let's go left this time. Right, left, left, left. There we go. I think this should be the correct one. There we go, it was hiding. <laughs> I wonder if it was in the one I was before, but it was still hiding. I don't know. You got a piece of heart. So yeah, we only need one more piece of heart, but yeah. So this is going to bring us back to the beginning. I love the swimming in this. And in order to get to the child, you do left, left, right, right. So that's pretty easy. Uh, not, all the rooms are the same looking except for the child's one. I'm sorry if my voice is going. This is the, I think, 11th video in a row that I'm recording. So it's... uh. It's putting a little bit of strain on my voice. I'm not used to talking for, I don't know, five hours straight, four hours straight, I don't know. But uh, yeah, the child should be up. Yep, there we go. Wow, I'm so much taller. So let's get out masks. This time we're going to give the Great Fairy's Mask, the Mask of Sense, and the Gera's Mask. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. So first, the Great Fairy's Mask we got for uniting the Great Fairy in Clock Town after, uh, after we uh, became human again, and it helped us out a lot in the dungeons. It's probably one of our most used masks. The Mask of Sense we got for uh, following the butler through his little game after we saved Woodfall. Uh, you can use it to sniff out stuff, but I've never ever really found a good, like, I, I don't care. <laughs> Sorry. And the last one, the Garrow Mask, we got for besting the Gorm brothers in a race. 
and it helped us get into Ikana Canyon, so it was pretty useful. It was actually kind of required. Can I ask a question? The right thing, what is it? I wonder, if you do the right thing, does it make, does it really make everybody happy? No, it usually doesn't. Maybe in the long run, but I don't know. Doing the right thing isn't easy because sometimes it's easier to lie or to cheat. Doing the right thing is a good, is a good thing, and I think it'll help, it'll be good in the long run, but it's not always, doesn't make people happy. In fact, a lot of times you feel like you've done the wrong thing. Let's talk to Twin Mold. That's scary. Ah, nice weather. Masks, you have a lot. Will you be a mask salesman? I'll play with you. So we have to give this one four masks, the greedy little bastage. So we'll start off with the Gibdo mask, the couples mask, and the Keton mask. And we're gonna have to give one more, I think. The Gibdo mask we got for saving Pamela's father, and it helped us out by letting us go in the story. The couple's mask we got for helping Cafe and Anjou be reunited and uh, have a happy ending to their lives. And the Keton mask we got as part of helping out Cafe. And it helped us uh, get a heart piece, so that was good. And for the final one, I'm going to give the all-night mask. This all-night mask we got from the Curiosity Shop, 500 rupees, and it uh, helped us listen to long, boring stories. Hide and seek, let's play. Okay, this dungeon is gonna be a bit harder than the other ones because uh, it's a battle dungeon. It's made for Link, so um, stock up on items here. Okay, I guess just magic, fine. So first, you have a fight against Dinalfos. So that's fun. Uh, I guess let's get out our uh, great fairy sword and uh, beat the ever-loving tar out of him. Was that one hit? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was beautiful. And there's an, a middle room here with a uh, another gossip stone. And this room, I believe it's a yeah a Garrow Master. Oh come on. I think I really only need like one more hit. Oh, really? Ow. Ah! Oh, yeah, and he's gonna blow himself up. <laughs> so, yeah, a chest is gonna appear here, and in order to leave the room, uh, you need to uh, hook shot onto it. So, that's kind of cool. You're using some of the items. I still like that the uh, the Stone Tower Temple also had like item use. I believe these are bomb shoes. Oh, I should have. Yeah. There we go. Oh, arrows. Okay. It's good because I don't think I have any. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have anything else other than that. But now. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I know who we're fighting now. Yay! 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 Is this not hurting me as much? Oh, cause, you know, cause I wasn't, uh... I would, I would be doing jump attacks otherwise. There we go. Lip, lip. Don't unlock on. Smurg, smurg! Why is it not affecting his legs? See, his legs aren't part of the hit thing. Oh, I'm so happy I got to fight an Iron Knuckle. This is Bomb Juice. And you kind of need it in order to finish, so I really hope I do it right. Yay! Got ten Bomb Juice. Okay, so what we have to do here is... Um, we have to blow open... Uh, there's a crack somewhere in the wall there. Um, I, I really don't like the, uh, 
Hold on one second. It's kind of hard to figure out like where exactly you have to be for these and having only 10 gives you very, very small margin for error. So I think I have to be around here. Nope. Well, crud. Um, let's try, no. Um, yeah, you know what, let's try doing it this way. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I th I think I think we can do it if if I'm Please? Yes, all right. I just I get very tense because now we only have a few bomb shoes left, but yeah, we just have to shoot that. And a ladder appears. Hmm. Is there... No, I think that's in the next area. There's... We go through here, and we get our last piece of heart of the game. So that's number 52. So, yeah, we've 100%ed the whole game now. Except for the masks. And or to progress further here... We have to use another bomb chew in the ceiling, so, um, okay, um, let's, let's try, let's try across the room here. I just don't, I hate this, I hate this, and it's gonna make, like, for a boring episode, you know? It's not gonna... No, no, no. No way. Holy hell, it worked. Wow. I really wasn't expecting that to work. Okay, cool. And we just have to shoot fire arrow. And that brings us to... Hit, 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 hit. Is it gonna explode? Whoa. <laughs> it's funny. And this is the last uh, bunch of masks we're gonna use, so it's our last four, obviously. Um, my favorite masks in the game, I guess. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. So first, the postman's hat. Hat we got for helping the postman with his moral dilemma. And it let us check mailboxes, and it looks really nice on Link. I like the bunnies on it, too. Next, the Mask of Truth. This we got for helping the guy in the swamp spider house, and it lets us hear the thoughts of the gossip stones, and uh, it's not much of a use in the game except for the dog racing, which is pretty cool. And the Bunny Hood, probably our most used mask, uh, lets you... Uh, we got this for helping uh, Grog, or... No, that's not his name in this game. For helping his Nadakuro, um by hatching all the chickens before the world ended and made him happy. So that was good. And uh, lets you run 1.5 times speed. And the captain's hat, one of my favorite masks in the game also, that you got from helping Skulkita, uh, waking him up, fighting him, and then letting him sleep eternally. And we are out of masks. Um, can I ask a question? Your true face, what kind of face is it? I wonder, the face under the mask, is that your true face? That's actually a really nice philosophical question. You know, people wear masks, and figuratively and literally, people wear masks to, uh, you know, be something or someone else, and, you know, is the mask their true face, or is their true face their true face? Like, you know... I, I think that's a great question. Something I don't think I can answer. So in the next episode, we're going to, we're out of children. We're going to talk to the Majora's Mask Child. And, well, it's going to be interesting. This has been Sephiroth Level 4 with The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Tune in for the finale next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.